You know, we're making these videos, and this video is being done on maybe the most beautiful spring day we've had yet. So Santa Spencer and I are sitting here wishing we were outside, but we can still celebrate what's outside. And I'd like to give a piece for, through which we can give thanks and praise, and the title of the piece is, Now the Spring Has Come Again. And the piece is a choral prelude written by Elmore. Uh, it's an unusual tune, and I'll give a little history of the tune. It comes from a collection called P.A. Cantonis, which was sort of found in a collection in Pomerania and Germany in the mid-1500s. Um, there were 84 pieces in that collection, and though they were sort of discovered and put together in Germany, their first major use was in Finland and Sweden, and a lot of the tunes were Swedish, and, but they all had medieval origins, and some of them were written in modes which sound a little bit exotic and mystical, but uh, have a sort of a churchly beauty about them. Anyway, this collection had songs for churches and also schools, and it celebrated all kinds of things, and most of them were sacred. But you will see this text, two verses of this text, on your screen. And it just celebrates, first of all, the coming of spring, but then the most poignant line is, uh, the light of spring reflects the light of God. Um, you know, so many things that God made in creation are parables, and I once read this observation that even in a fallen world, there's so much beauty and it's particularly apparent now. So in this time when we are sort of mournful and uncertain, we can remember the scripture verse, weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. And that's what spring is like. I personally don't have any joy in February when all the grass is brown and there are no leaves on the trees and it's freezing cold and windy and you don't hear many birds singing and you can't smell the soil and then gradually all those things change and the life that God put in this creation resurges. And the trees stop being dormant and give out foliage and flowers. And the soil begins to thaw, and you can actually smell it. It's the smell of fecundity and life. And there are more birds to hear. It's so beautiful. That's exactly a parable of what I think we should all be looking forward to and expecting, because this plague is going to come to an end. And through this plague, we are learning things from God. There's nothing surprises him, nothing mystifies him. But he has a spring coming for us. And we can celebrate it as we look at this spring and listen to the music. Now the spring has come again. Mm -hmm. 